One of the nice things about using TickTick is that the app is constantly being developed. Uh, they're constantly iterating, adding new functionality, new features. So if you happen to log into TickTick -Tick this morning, you might have noticed something a little new. So let me start by sharing my screen. So over on the left navigation panel, I'm currently on tasks. Below that is the calendar view. And below that is something new. The icon looks like a little target. And this is called the focus tab. And you'll see when I click on the focus tab, I'm presented with two panes. On the left pane is a big Pomodoro timer. And on the right side is an overview. So on the big Pomodoro timer, up at the very top, I can choose between Pomodoro or stopwatch. So the Pomodoro being that I'm going to focus for a set number of minutes, the stopwatch being uh, I'm going to focus and just start the clock and I'll stop it when I'm done. So below that option is a focus with an arrow and that's actually a drop down for my today list. So these are tasks that are due today and I can select one of these tasks that I'm going to focus on. If I'm using the Pomodoro timer, I can also click on the clock to change the number of minutes I want to focus for. So if I want to focus for instead 10 minutes, I can mark that as 10 minutes and then I can hit the start button. One thing to note about this focus tab is that the focus blocks need to be at least five minutes long in order for the app to log it. So you can quit a particular focus block if I hit the pause button and I try to end it. It does let me end it, but you'll see it doesn't log it over here. So let me go ahead and hit the start button now and I'll wait five minutes and I'll be right back. All right, so we still got a minute left to go on our timer before we can save it. I want to point out a few things over here on the right panel. So I believe I selected a task to focus on, but if I don't remember which task um, or I want to change the task, you know, so say I started focusing on one task, but I want to switch it to another because that's actually what I started doing. I can come over here to this icon on the upper right side, and this allows me to select a task. So let's say that this was take the car for an oil change. And it says, does the previous focus time belong to that? And I can say, yes, that does. The other thing you'll notice on this right side is that it's, it's kind of tracking my time over here, building a block in a calendar type view. So that's kind of nice. And then down at the very bottom, you are able to add a focus note. So maybe I want to add a note for this focus time. So I'm going to say, took the car to Joe's oil change. So now that it's been five minutes, I can pause this and end it. And it prompts me to say, uh, the Pomo is ongoing. Do you want to save the record? And yes, I want to end and save that record. So now I'm back on the main tab, the main focus tab. And you'll see over on the right side, I'm presented with some stats now. So today's Pomos, I have one and my focus time has been five minutes. And the total POMOS is one, and the total focus time has been five minutes as well. And then down at the bottom, it's starting to build a log. So, so far today, um, I've taken the car for an oil change. I focus on that, and it shows me my note. I can click on that, and I can see the details here. Again, I can uh, set the task if the task was incorrectly set. I can change that here. Uh, and then I'm, I accidentally did that, but I, you can click on the task apparently, and it takes you right to the task. So that's, that's pretty cool. That's handy. Um, let me X out of this. The other thing I wanted to take a look at, which I didn't get a chance to look at this morning yet, but there's a little plus button up here next to the focus record. And this looks like, yes, you can actually add a focus block manually. So if yesterday uh, I spent some focus time at the, grocery, uh, at the grocery store, doing some grocery shopping, I can come in here, select yesterday, uh, say my time started at, uh, let's say, uh, noon. 
What was my start time? Oh, sorry, that was my end time. So my start time is 8 a.m. Uh, the end time is noon. And do I want 36 pomos or no, I'm going to use stopwatch and I'm going to say that was a, boy, six hours. That's a long time at the grocery store. Uh, let me change this from 8 a.m. to... Let's say 11 a.m. So I spent, you know, now it says 11 a.m. To, uh, to 5 p.m. really. Can I edit this? Doesn't look like I can edit the time once I add it in there. I can add a note here. Uh, let me just go ahead and delete this and try adding it one more time here. So I'm hitting the trash can down here. It says, if deleted, the record can't be restored. Do you want to delete? Yeah, I'm going to delete it and just try adding it one more time here. So go to the grocery store. My start time was yesterday at 11. I'm going to click OK. My end time was noon. And instead of six pomos, I want to use stopwatch for one hour, zero minutes. And here I could add a note to Kroger. Click OK. And now, again, we can see that task, or that focus block, not a task, but the focus block shows up uh, down at the bottom. So this is actually pretty cool, and I, I actually might find this useful personally. Um, I was just thinking yesterday that you know, TickTick -tick builds a lot of new features, a lot of new functionality. The one thing that I wish that they would build is a time, time tracking tool. So I actually use a separate app called Clockify to track my time, track my hours throughout the day and the tasks that I'm working on. Um, but I really wish that was built into TickTick. -tick. And with this new focus tab, it looks like it's, it's getting closer. I don't know that it's quite there yet, but what I might do is I might start using this focus uh, tab more throughout the day. So as I'm working on tasks, I'm, I'm just clocking my time using this. And then at the end of the day, go over to Clockify and just log it so that it's in there. You know, the one thing that Clockify has that this doesn't have is a weekly timesheet view. So it shows me, you know, Monday through Friday, you know, on Monday I work this many hours on these tasks, on Tuesday I work this many hours on these tasks. And so that's kind of a nice view that I like to have. This doesn't, this doesn't seem to have that yet, but hopefully TickTick -tick keeps iterating and maybe that gets added in the future. Uh, so the other small incremental uh, improvement that TickTick -tick made uh, today was, again, over on the left navigation pane, you can now drag and drop these into whatever order you want. So by default, the task is at the top, but if I want this focus timer to be at the top, I can just drag and drop this up to the top. If I want search to be at the top, or if I want it to be second, I can drag and drop search to be second. And so that's kind of a nice, a nice little feature. Um, so these are new as of today. I believe they're only available on the web app right now. That's the way TickTick -tick usually does it, is they put the, uh, the new functionality to the web app first, and then a little later we'll see them show up in the uh, Windows and the Mac apps. So we'll probably see those uh, show up uh, a little bit later in those apps. But again, this is, it's nice to use TickTick -tick because they're constantly improving it, constantly adding new things, new features. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.